Hey guys, my name is Bo, and today I will be sharing with y'all a what I eat in a week, but summer edition type vibes. Just a few disclaimers before we start. I'm not a vegan, but I do eat a plant-based diet at home. All the recipes shown in this video are vegan friendly, however, not all the food shown in this video is vegan, so if you get offended by seeing any meat products, please close your eyes at these times. Thanks for listening to my quick PSA. So for Sunday's dinner, I decide to make a poke bowl. This is probably my go-to dish for the summertime. It's very nourishing, quick, simple, five ingredients, and yeah. Monday's breakfast, I decide to make my classic acai bowl. It's delicious, I highly recommend it. Topping it off with some fruits and granola. Later on, I went to go with some gelato with my cousin. It was a well-needed treat, summer vibes, you feel me? So yeah, just to lay the groundworks here, I eat two big meals a day, a brunch and a big dinner, and I snack here and there. But on a real note, it's because my sleep schedule has been so off since we turned to remote learning this year. Your girl's been waking up at lunch hour. For Tuesday's breakfast, I made my go-to chocolate protein waffles. For the flour base, I blend around half a cup of oats, which gives 11 grams of protein, a third cup of almonds, which gives 10 grams of protein, and also one scoop of protein powder. This makes around two big and dense waffles, one for me and my brother. I really like to have a protein and fiber packed breakfast to get me started for the day. <laughs> For dinner, I made a kale Caesar salad. I usually like to make a tempeh sandwich on the side when I make this dish, but we ran out of bread that day, unfortunately. But I had the tempeh, so I just tossed the tempeh into the salad bowl instead and made a bigger portion of salad for myself. guessed it it's workout day today hitting them arms and core let's get it let's get it let's go after my workout i had my protein pancakes basically the same ingredients as the waffle base but pancake form and i added blueberries into the batter because i felt like being fancy with it today so You've got those big blue eyes Drive me crazy, make me fantasize About you, baby And you smell so sweet Like fresh picked daisies Call me Dahmer cause so tasty for dinner that day i went to an italian restaurant with my friends it was lit then we went for dessert the french crepes were amazing and then i took my group of friends to crash my besties one year anniversary day very fun times For Thursday's breakfast, I made vegan French toast with a tofu batter based. It's delicious and I highly recommend it. dinner 
I made vegan lettuce wraps. I used two Beyond Meat sausages as the meat base. Again, substitute with your meat of choice. Could be actual meat, could be tofu. We're diet accepting here. Modify it to your own liking. But yeah, this is a very straightforward, easy recipe to follow. I love to make this dish this time around. I just love all the colors, the taste, and everything. Like this whatever breakfast tower thing we're excited to eat that sorry snoopy you can't go with us dogs aren't allowed on the school bus Woof. for dinner i just had some leftover lasagna with some arugula this is probably the best recipe for vegan lasagna ever i will link the recipe down below for y'all So it's Friday, starting my day off with some caffeine before I hit my leg day. I made an iced coffee with my coffee dripper. For my workout, I just did a short leg activation today with some deadlifts. And for my cardio burnout of choice, I chose to dance. I really wasn't feeling the cardio machines, but dancing like a goof in your bedroom works just as well. For breakfast, I made an avocado toast with some tempeh on top. It's very delicious. I garnished the avocado with salt, pepper, paprika, nutritional yeast, and yeah. And for snack, I had half a watermelon. If you're not eating a watermelon as if it's a bowl, I don't know what you're doing. You need to get on that. And now for dinner. So we are cooking a simple chickpea pasta. All you want to do is chop some broccoli, one sausage of choice. I like, kind of like to crumble it with my hands and some chickpea pasta noodles and pasta sauce. And there you go. Just like that, you have yourself a gourmet meal. Fiskers don't make noise when they start up, just so you know. Top of the whole toe. The last day of this week, I made some baked oats. I honestly love this recipe so much, but I hate how long it takes to bake. That's the only downside of this dish. But other than that, it's a protein and fiber packed breakfast. Very straightforward to make and delicious. I highly recommend it. dinner we had sushi with the fam and yeah basically that's how i ended my week of eating anyways if you stayed to the end thank you for watching this video please subscribe for more weekly content 